Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue to behold Jesus, the Son of God and the Savior of the world, let us take inspiration from the Blessed Virgin Mary today as the first Saturday of the year, so that like her, we too may welcome Jesus and may allow Jesus to grow in our lives and in our hearts. Let us now call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who through your only begotten Son have made us a new creation for yourself, grant, we pray, that by your grace we may be found in, his, in the likeness of him in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we have this confidence in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us in regard to whatever we ask, we know that what we have asked Him for 
is ours. If anyone sees his brother sinning, if the sin is not deadly, he should pray to God and he will give him life. This is only for those whose sin is not deadly. This is such a thing as deadly sin, about which I do not say that you should pray. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin that is not deadly. We know that anyone begotten by God does not sin. But the one begotten by God, he protects, and the evil one cannot touch him. We know that we belong to God, and the whole world is under the power of the evil one. We also know that the Son of God has come and has given us discernment to know the one who is true. And we are in the one who is true. In his Son, Jesus Christ, he is the true God and eternal life. Children, be on your guard against idols. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song, a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let, let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in His people. Please all stand. People who sit in darkness have seen a great light on those dwelling in land overshadowed by death. Light has a reason. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples went into the region of Judea, where he spent some time with them baptizing. John was also baptizing in Anon, near Salim because there was an abundance of water there. And people came to be baptized, for John had not yet been imprisoned. Now a dispute arose between the disciples of John and a Jew about ceremonial washings. So they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, the one who was with you across the Jordan to whom you testified, here he is baptizing, and everyone is coming to him. John answered and said, 
no one can receive anything except what has been given from, up from heaven. You yourselves can testify that I said that I am not the Christ, but that I was sent before him. The one who has the bride is the bridegroom, the best man who stands and listens for him. Rejoices greatly at the groom's, bridegroom's voice. So this joy of mine has been made complete. He must increase, I must decrease. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our Gospel today ended with the famous lines from John the Baptist, He must increase and I must decrease. Kinakailangan siyang maging dakila at ako naman maging mababa. This is very clear to John the Baptist. He knew his role and mission. He was sent to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. He was sent to prepare the way for the Savior. And now that Jesus is here, Jesus has come. And Jesus has been doing his mission. Jesus is beginning his public ministry. John knew that it was time for him to fade away. And this is what John was trying to explain to his disciples who reported to him about what Jesus has been doing. Sinabi nila kay, Jesus, kay Juan, si Jesus nagbibinyag din at ang mga tao pumupunta sa kanya. Parang sinasabi ng mga alagad ni Juan, kinukumpitensya pa tayo ng Jesus na yan. Ginagaya niya ang ginagawa mo at sa kanya na pumupunta ang mga dapat pumunta sa iyo. But John told his disciples, No, I was sent to prepare for his coming. And now that he is here, then it is time for me to fade away. He must increase. I must decrease. As if John is saying, you must have more of Jesus and less of me. My dear brothers and sisters, that is Christian spirituality. Christian spirituality is to allow Jesus to increase in our lives and to allow ourselves to decrease. Christian spirituality is about having more of Jesus and having less of ourselves. Sa ating buhay kristyano, yan naman talaga ang pinagsusumikapan natin na lumago ng lumago si Jesus sa ating buhay at habang lumalago si Jesus sa ating buhay, nababawasan naman tayo ng ating sarili. Because if the op opposite happens, if we have more of ourselves and less of Jesus, then we become prone to sin. And St. John, in our first reading today, warns us against idolatry. St. John tells us that Jesus is the Son of God. And not to acknowledge that He is God 
is being a liar. St. John tells us that Jesus is true God and He gives us eternal life. And so not to believe in Him is to deny this truth. And if we consider other things or people as God, then we are committing idolatry. And St. John concludes in our first reading today by saying, Children, be on guard against idols. Idolatry is allowing others, allowing things, or allowing ourselves to increase and because of that, Jesus decreases in our life. A true follower of the Lord, like St. John, has more of Jesus and less of myself. If I have more of myself, then I consider myself as God. Kung sino ang lumalago at nakahihigit sa ating buhay, Yan ang ginodyos natin. At kung hindi yan ng Diyos, ang tunay na Diyos, tayo'y sumasamba sa Diyos-Diyosan at hindi sa tunay na Diyos. He must increase. I must decrease. My dear brothers and sisters, what increases in your life? And what decreases in your life? There are many things that we want to increase in our life. We want to increase our salary. Yan naman ang gusto ng lahat ng mga nagtatrabaho. Increase sa sweldo. We want to increase our money, our wealth, our possessions. We want to increase our power, our popularity. We want to increase our friends. We want to increase our goodness, our good attitude. We want to increase our faith. And there are also, also things in our life that we want to decrease. Or if it could not decrease, at least it would not increase even more. We do not want our weight to increase. Ayaw nating bumibigat tayo. We do not want our waistline to increase. We do not want our gray hair, our white hair to increase. Kaya kapag pumuputi ang buhok, pilit itinatago sa pagpapakulay ng buhok. We do not want wrinkles in our, on our faces to increase. Kaya pilit na binabanat ang mukha. We do not want our problems, our stress to increase. We do not want cases of COVID to increase. But what really increases in your life? And what decreases in your life? Today, my dear brothers and sisters, is the second to the last day of the Christmas season. Tomorrow, we will celebrate the feast of the baptism of the Lord and we will conclude the Christmas season. The Christmas season is about the birth and the manifestation of the Lord. Let us allow Him to be born in our lives, in our hearts. Let us allow Him to be born in our society and in our country. Let us allow Him to be born in our families, in our neighborhood, in our workplaces, in our world. Let us allow Jesus to be born in us. And if Jesus is born in us, let us allow Him to grow. 
Jesus did not remain a baby lying in the manger. Jesus grew in age, wisdom. He grew pleasing God. Let us allow Jesus to grow in us. He must increase. I must decrease. My dear brothers and sisters, let us have more of Jesus and less of ourselves. Please all stand. Like St. John, let us pray that we may become faithful to our identity and vocation as Christians. For every petition, let us say, Lord, increase your presence among us. Lord, increase your presence among us. That our concern and interest as a church may go beyond the boundaries of family, community, and nation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord increase, increase your, your presence, presence among us. That we may understand our baptism <clears throat> as, a goal to, to, as a call to go out of our way and reach out to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord increase, increase your, your presence, presence among us. That young men and women may listen to the Spirit in their hearts and respond to the Spirit's prompting from deep within. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord increase your presence among us. That the sick, the despised, the lonely, and the poor might, might know the good news of Christ's presence in the way we relate to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord increase, increase your, your presence, presence among us. us. That the dead may enjoy the fruits of the grace of their baptism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord increase, increase your, your presence among us. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, we realize that you have called us to spread the good news of the kingdom. Help us to share in your Son's redeeming work. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant us through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just.
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you now bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, oh.